What if you have the most terrifying animal abilities? How would this end up? Would you become inevitable? You were in your kitchen, chopping away something for dinner and humming to your favorite song. And then accidentally, you do this. Oops! That sure hurts, but no big deal. Humans can regenerate their lost body parts in a few weeks. You pick up the severed finger, wrap it in a tissue, toss it in the bin, apply bandages to your hand and resume cooking. 8 p.m. Your family sits for dinner. Your husband notices the bandage on your hand. You say there is nothing to worry about. He smiles and tells you to take care of yourself. Five days since that accident. A fleshy bud has formed on your wound. Three weeks since that accident. You now have a fully grown finger. Your hand is back to normal. Six months after that incident. You visit the supermarket to buy groceries. You fill your trolley with necessary stuff and head towards the billing counter. You see a queue, you wait for your turn. There is a lady standing ahead who looks like your own photographs. And then you hear her speak. Hi there. And then she sees you and you let out a shriek. She is your doppelganger. The same eyes, the same nose, the same mole on the right chin, the same everything. You hurriedly complete your transaction and run out. Your heart is thumping. Your head is about to burst. You have no idea what's going on. You dial your mom. You ask her if you had any twin sister. She replies in the negative. You wonder where that clone of yours came from. Some flatworms, like Planaria, have insane power of regeneration. You can literally slice a Planaria into pieces, and then watch the individual piece grow back into a complete organism. So, your duplicate was formed from your own finger. Maybe you shouldn't have discarded your finger like that. Imagine. A group of 10 friends plan to hike at the nearest mountain at night to feel the beauty of night from a top mountain view. Everyone has their tents to sleep. All are enjoying the bonfire. That's just a night out that could easily be turned out into a nightmare. As the mountain is habitual to wolves. As the bonfire is about to extinguish, Harry looks at Andy with a frightened face and says, I told you to carry extra fuel. Do we have that? Andy with his face? Me? Nah. But I have my chips. Yum yum. Suddenly, everyone hears the howling of wolves. They realize that the fire to keep the wolves away is done. Now we are almost done. The fire backfired us and all that. Everyone is looking at each other and cussing, blaming Andy for not taking extra fuel with him. Andy, with his some remaining self-respect, stands up near blown up fire and yells, Why so scared? This isn't a big deal. And spits casually on the extinguished fire that lits up the fire again. Get out of the imagination now. Cardinal fish can spit fire. Cardinal fish eat mainly zooplankton, but when they eat ostracods, a type of zooplankton, the tiny creatures begin to flash their bioluminescence, making the cardinal fish more visible. Cardinal fish are a little fish, so being seen is not a good idea for them, so they spit out the ostracods in what looks like a burst of bluish fire. 
Imagine you were walking down a dark street on a chilly night. The one working street light is flickering intermittently, illuminating the wet pavement for only the briefest of moments. The sound of your footsteps are punctuated by the occasional splash of a puddle crashing against the soles of your shoes. However, yours are not the only footsteps that can be heard. You have become aware of another set of footsteps, slower and quieter, coming from behind you. You stop and almost straight away, so do the footsteps behind you. With bated breath, you begin to turn to face your follower. But as you do, you are sprayed with a mysterious liquid. It is hydrogen cyanide. And don't think you're safe because it's only hit the skin. Hydrogen cyanide is absorbed by the skin. If you're lucky, you'll only be badly ill. But if not, you could find yourself riding the pale horse. This is precisely the ability that dragon millipedes have, and which they use to defend against predators when they feel threatened. An ability like that in the hands of humans would be disastrous. Imagine what could come of a simple bar fight or a heated argument between a couple. Black Fridays would go from being undignified scraps to shopping slaughter. <laughs>